Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to loop switches. I've got two linears here. I got the alpaca and the cyan alpaca from Prime KB. Here are a few other tools that we'll need. Right here is the aluminum switch opener from KBD Fans. This is for Kale switches and this is for Cherry MX switches. You can see the prongs here. We'll lift up the tabs. If you have this, it helps too. This is a jeweler prong. A brush, of course. To get the lube in there. If you don't have a switch opener, you can open switches with just a flathead screwdriver. Right there. Just that little tip. Of course, the lube. 25G0. This is from SwitchMod. First things first, I'll open with a switch opener as well as the screwdriver. Let's do the regular alpaca with the switch opener. First, you line up the tabs with the tool. And I like to press it down centered like this. Pops off. Make sure it's lifted evenly. Pull it off. This is the stem. This is the top housing. This is the spring. And this is the bottom housing. The copper piece in here is the leaf, and that leaf is connected to the pins on the other side. So I'll have to do the same thing with the screwdriver. As you can tell, that took a little bit of effort. I'm used to using the tool, but the pieces are apart. The plastic tabs are pretty resilient, so the screwdriver can lift them up a little bit for you to open up the switch. Try to get one of these tools if you can. If not, you can always buy one from Amazon, although it's not great. I do recommend getting something aluminum though. A little bit tougher and a little bit easier to open switches. The other half is for kale switches, so if you're making holy pandas, you'll need something like this to open up the halo clears and halo trues. All right, quick little value add here. After you've already opened your first switch, you have a switch top with plastic tabs that match up with the unopened switch. So you can just push using the open switch top, nudge this up. Make sure you do one side a little bit at a time because it's gonna push the other side back in. Now you have both sides opened up, you can just pull off the top like so. There you go, you have your own little switch opener. Now that the switch is open, I always start with the bottom housing. Open up your lube container. The jars are always easier to use just because there's more of a lip. So what I want to do is dip in here, but not see any globs of lube on the brush. I like to go lighter rather than heavier because I can always add more lube later. Let's take a look at that. Just a little bit on the brush. Get to the housing. One, two, three, four. And flip sides. One, two, three, four. And I always try to do one swipe around the center column as well. And if you notice, this brush, the width is just enough to fit inside the rail. So that's why I like to use these brushes. After you do that, set that aside. I do the spring next with the same brush. Just brush the edge of either side of the spring. See if you can get that, get a little bit visible on there. Thin layer is sufficient as long as you see it. And I take it and then I drop that in to the bottom housing. That's what that looks like. During this step, if you're adding films, this is when you would add them. This is a film, a thick film from Jinra. So I'll slot in like that. That is the bottom housing. That is a spring and that's a film. The intent of the gap films is to minimize, you know, the gap between the bottom housing and top housing. It creates better sound. Uh, and also reduces stem wobble. Now with the stem here, you can do this by hand. So now I'm gonna grab the stem. A little bit by using your finger and twisting around it, but I find that difficult to do that whole thing. So I'd like to use a jeweler prong like this. 
This is the five prong tool, but it still works. A four prong will work better. TX also sells a variant. I'll link it in the description box below, as well as all the items I use in this video. This makes it much easier. I can twist without using the other hand. And re-up on the loop, this time a little bit less. Same kind of, same technique. I rub it, I rub it on the edge until I don't see any more globs. I just want a thin layer, but even. I don't like counting how many swipes because it depends how deep you push the brush into the lube. I'm always working on the edge, so visually I just make sure it's thin, even. So from here, I try to do all the top at once to kind of spread out my lube before I start brushing because I find that if I just start doing the rails, I run out of lube by the time I get to the sides and bottom. So just kind of run it across, then I start with the rails. Make sure you get that top part as well. Other rail. Get that top part. The back. This is where you really need to pay attention. If you have a tactile switch, you do not loop these legs. You just want to loop the top, but since this is a linear switch, an alpaca, we'll loop the whole thing. I try to hit the bottom as well. Let's get a close look at everything. Hopefully you can see the amount of lube on the rails. Very thin. Other side. And the spring, also very thin. Take a look at the stem as well. I'll lower the brightness in the videos. Hopefully you can see it. It's super thin. I typically don't like to lube the top housing. You can if you want. If you were to lube the top housing, I would put a little bit of lube right there. Right where the stem rail hits the top housing. Drop in your switch like so. You want the legs to be facing the leaf. I always make sure to press down to see if it, if it works. Make sure I orient it correctly because if you orient it the wrong way and you push it in, you'll damage the leaf. And for this housing, there's two little nubs that line up with the legs. That's how I remember which side. Line everything up. You can see the film bending a little, that's okay. Snapped it in. Press it a few times. There you go. That is one lubed alpaca. We'll do it again with the cyan alpaca. Let's move a little bit faster. One thing to note, the difference between a cyan alpaca and the regular alpaca is just this dampener on the stem. Same thing, get the lube, make sure it's thin. Two, three, four, one, two, Three, four. Bottom housing is done. Use the remaining lube, hit the spring, brush it a few times, just get the excess off. Now we drop the spring in the bottom housing, like so. This stem we'll try to lube with the fingertip method. Re up on the lube. Try to brush across. Now 
Now do the rails, I mean. Sides, the legs. A back. A bottom. Now I just drop that back onto the spring. Remember, legs face the leaf. Top housing, look for the nubs for this one. Nubs are right there. This one I did not film. And there you have it, two lubed linear switches. If you have any questions regarding lubing switches, feel free to comment a question down in the box below. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, bye.